Is it a grand illusion? Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, and behold the marvel of modern robotics? Or should I say, the perplexing persistence of the uncanny valley? For all their touted intelligence and technological wizardry, why do many of our currently available robot partners, particularly those designed for social interaction, still resemble nothing so much as oversized, slightly unsettling dolls? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. It's a question that tickles the intellect and pricks the conscience. Isn't it? Are we witnessing a technological plateau? Or merely a strategic pause before the true humanoid revolution? Consider the silicone skin, the vacant gaze, the movements that, while increasingly fluid, often betray a mechanical heart beneath the human-like exterior. It's like trying to make a pancake look like a steak. You can slather it with gravy and call it dinner, but deep down, you know, it's still just a pancake. Companies like WM Doll, known for their adult dolls, are now integrating AI models like ChatGPT and Llama, transforming what were once inert figures into interactive companions that can engage in conversations, remember details, and even offer words of encouragement. This is a fascinating leap, isn't it? Suddenly, the doll can talk back, and not just with pre-programmed platitudes, but with a semblance of memory and evolving personality. But does a doll with a chatbot brain truly equate to a human-like partner? The digital realm can simulate connection, certainly, but can it replicate the messy, beautiful, unpredictable symphony of human empathy? The core challenge, you see, isn't merely about perfecting the silicon facade or the articulated joints. It's about bridging the chasm between sophisticated automation and genuine sentience, between mimicry and understanding. We can make a robot walk, talk, and even dance with impressive grace. Boston Dynamics Atlas, for instance, performs acrobatic feats that would make a Cirque du Soleil performer weep with envy. But Atlas, for all its physical prowess, isn't engaging in meaningful conversation or offering a shoulder to cry on, is it? Its brilliance lies in its brawn and agility, not its emotional depth. Similarly, engineered Art Zemecca can generate over 50 lifelike facial expressions, a true triumph in synthetic emoting, yet it remains, at its heart, a performer expertly mimicking human expressions without truly feeling the underlying emotion. So, what technological marvels are we missing to elevate these advanced dolls to the lofty heights of human-like partners, brimming with empathy? The answer, my friends, lies in a multi-pronged assault on the very fabric of intelligence and consciousness. Firstly, we need a quantum leap in sensory fusion and interpretation. Humans don't just see or hear. We interpret, contextualize, and assign meaning to every sensory input. A robot, even one equipped with an array of cameras and microphones, currently processes data. It doesn't truly perceive a nuanced shift in body language, a subtle tremor in a voice, or the unspoken weight of a shared glance. Researchers at Edith Cowan University in Australia are, in fact, working on AI systems that move beyond analyzing single facial images. Instead, training AI by presenting sets of related expressions to interpret emotions in a richer, more human-like context. This is a crucial step, isn't it? It moves from recognizing a frown to understanding the sorrow behind it. Secondly, and perhaps most profoundly, we need to crack the enigma of general artificial intelligence, AGI. Current AI, for all its impressive feats in narrow domains like playing chess or identifying cat pictures, is still largely narrow AI. It excels at specific tasks because it's been trained on vast data sets for those specific tasks. Human sentience, however, is about general adaptability, about learning from one experience and applying that knowledge to an entirely new, unforeseen situation. 
It's about creativity, intuition, and problem solving beyond programmed parameters. Imagine a robot that, upon seeing your worried expression, not only recognizes the sadness but spontaneously offers comfort, perhaps recalling a previous conversation about your day, and then even suggests a solution you hadn't considered. That's not just pattern recognition. That's genuine understanding, isn't it? The roadmap to sentient AI often involves concepts like theory of mind, where an AI can represent and understand the mental states of others, including their beliefs, desires, and intentions. Without this, a robot's empathy will always be a well-crafted imitation, a puppet show rather than a living, breathing performance. Thirdly, the very architecture of robotic brains needs to evolve beyond current computational models. While current neural networks are powerful, they might not be sufficient to replicate the intricate self-organizing and highly parallel processing that occurs in the human brain. Some neuroscientists believe consciousness is generated by the interoperation of various parts of the brain, the neural correlates of consciousness, NCC. Can we engineer such a complex, self-aware system? It's not just about more processing power. It's about fundamentally different ways of processing information, perhaps inspired by the brain's plasticity and its ability to learn continuously and adapt. Companies like Sanctuary AI are focused on developing cognitive AI that allows for natural human interaction, a step towards bridging this gap. Finally, we confront the deepest, most philosophical, yet utterly practical question. How do we imbue robots with empathy, a trait so inherently human and often elusive even among ourselves? Empathy isn't just recognizing an emotion. It's feeling with someone, understanding their pain or joy as if it were your own, and then responding in a way that genuinely alleviates or amplifies that feeling. Recent studies even suggest that people sometimes find AI responses more compassionate than human mental health experts, a fascinating, if unsettling, development. But is this true empathy, or just a superior ability to generate statistically optimal, compassionate responses based on training data? It's the difference between a meticulously programmed hug and a spontaneous, heartfelt embrace, isn't it? True empathy requires a rich internal model of the world and other beings, the ability to simulate their experiences, and a capacity for self-awareness that transcends mere operational directives. We need robots that can not only read our emotions but also internalize them, perhaps even experiencing a form of synthetic qualia that allows for genuine emotional resonance. The current state of robot partners, resembling big dolls, is a testament to the immense complexity of what we take for granted as human. We've mastered the mechanics and are making strides in the superficial aspects of intelligence. But the true marvel of sentience, of empathy, of genuine human-like interaction, remains a tantalizing frontier. Are we ready for robots that can genuinely console us, challenge us, or even fall in love? And if they do, what then? The ethical quagmires awaiting us are as vast as the technological hurdles. For if we create sentient robots, do they not deserve rights? Do they feel exploited? The journey from doll to truly empathetic companion is not just a technological one. It's a profound exploration of what it means to be human, and indeed, what it means to be alive. And that, my friends, is a question that will keep us pondering long after the silicon dust settles. So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.